It's the local show on News Radio 570 WSYR, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts, and get us federal savings and loan. The local show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The local show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts. Tom and Steve. Welcome back and uh, welcome in. This is hour number two of The Local Show. Get ready for engaging interviews with Jim Green or Charles Dickens, producer, uh, director of a Chris, a Dickens Christmas in Skinny Atlas. And then Kevin Frank, director of Brady Market, will stop by in Brady Faith Center. David Lewis, owner of Interstate Batteries of Central New York. And then Michael Johnson wraps us up, owner of Pro Snow Removal, all here in hour number two. We are broadcasting from the Zoe Advertising studio sponsored by safe harbor wills and trusts and get us federal savings and loan and uh steve there was something i was going to mention to you too oh yes youtube you can uh, see steve on you can uh, see YouTube. tom <laughs> you can see everybody <laughs> everything we pull the curtain uh, back you can see charles dickens, and, right? and charles say, dickens. can you see me yeah, I'm, you i can, can hear you him. i'm right here yeah, yeah, you can, you we'll can. talk as if he's not here yeah right. we'll, <laughs> we'll do what you do when you ignore me you yeah. right it. You know, it's fun. I saw a, um, what was it, the uh, Yellow Brick Road, what do you call that thing? The Wizard of Oz. So that was on uh, most recently. And, and it's funny, when you don't watch that for a long period of time, and then you watch, you, you see what great actors Correct. they were. And the whole scene where they, you know, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Love it. That, that was a real scene. You know, we all quote that. But, uh, you know, that was kind of a cool thing. Oh, it was yeah, really uh, funny. I think so. L. Frank Baum was a hack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who invited him? Hey, right. <laughs> so, Tom, uh, you better introduce this guy. He's an actor. We're not going to be able to shut him up. So, might as well introduce him. Wonderful. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have Jim Green on. And uh, Jim Green is Charles Dickens, and he's a producer director of uh, a Dickens Christmas out there in Skinny Atlas. How are you, sir? I, I'm very well. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me today. Yeah, I saw you out in the lobby. You scared the Dickens out of me. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. That was good. I called security. <laughs> yes. Right, yeah. Right. So. Tell us a little bit about you and uh, how you became Charles Dickens. And uh, well, it's an interesting street. story. I will determine that. I was, <laughs> I was, I was born a poor black child. <laughs> hey, it's little Steve oh, Martin. Wait, that's Steve Martin. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, actually, it's interesting. I, I have always been a ham bone, and always, you know, I didn't ever know that you could make a living performing. Uh, without being a big star in the movies or on Broadway or something. And I, sure. and I kind of accidentally fell into Renaissance festivals and I performed there for years and, and realized that, oh, you know, this is great, you know, and, and I could do that. And I'm relatively good at this kind of stuff. And I moved, uh, I worked at Disney World for Ooh, 15 yeah. years in Orlando. And what did you do there? I did stuff I can't tell you. But <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> did you hit the table like I told I, you not oh, to? Oh, did I already yeah, do that? No. Sorry. <laughs> <Were you? laughs> right, I'll sit on my hat. Okay, right, oh, right. that's better. Well, um, so were you a well, character? I, I, well, I actually, I started out and I was Dreamfinder's good friend okay. over at Epcot Theater. Where, Very nice. Uh, Epcot Center, where we at the Imagination, Kodak Imagination Pavilion. And then I began... Uh, my last uh, 10 years over at the Disney MGM Studios when they oh, opened that nice. up and I was in the Indiana Jones show. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I played love Indiana show. Jones. No, get out of here. I played the fat, bald Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, Marion, go get me a beer. Well, that, that's a very athletic <laughs> thing. You had a role and yeah, talk right, and yeah, yeah. I'll do all and I was, Obviously, I wasn't one of the stuntmen, but oh, it was okay. a great gig and I, and I uh, did all kinds of extra things, convention work, you know, the improv-y like s street stuff. And that was really fun. Uh -huh. uh, and then I got to a point of, okay, this is, I'm, it's a little too corporate for me. And I said to my wife, I just, we need to go. And we had a good friend who had moved up to Trumansburg. And so we followed them kind of and came up here and we found a home in Dryden. And I didn't really have any work. I had, I had the Sterling Renaissance Festival contract and that was it. And it was, and it's kind of scary, three kids, and, yes. you know. So uh, we found our home in Dryden and that was really great. And then a friend of mine said, you should check with Skinny Atlas. They have a Dickens Festival. And I called Ted Davenport, may he rest in peace. And, and he said, oh, I know who you are. No, you don't want to 
to come do this. It's we don't have any money, blah, blah, blah. And then the next weekend at the Renaissance Fair, people who kind of ran the entertainment part came up to me and said, are you really interested in that? And I was like, sure. You know, I don't have any work. Let me yeah, tell you right. if you can't <laughs> afford me. <laughs> you know? right. Sure. So I, I, I just performed there that year. My wife also performed there and they gave us both little, you know, it was a, it was a much smaller show, uh, but it was great fun. And then after, and I played a Victorian rat catcher character. So I did the okay. comedy, all the same shtick kind of as the, as the rent fair. And, um, the net and the chamber of commerce and the and the head of the merchants association came up to me and said will you will you run this and i said no i my, my friend steve runs it i'm not gonna you know right. and i said i can help i could be the artistic director or something you know if you because i know a lot of talented people yeah in yeah. the area and so they hired it it was funny because she says what's what's well what should we do what's the first thing we should do and i said raise your budget yeah, you know right because right. if i could pay a few people i could populate this people town. don't understand that do they yeah, right. right that is our <laughs> biggest challenge do you know how most marketing budgets are determined? How? By how much money people are willing to invest, I'll use the term loosely, yes. and not, if it doesn't work, they don't hurt themselves. Right. They don't yeah. look at the return right. on it, and that's right. what you did, and you brought right. that to the table. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we did it, and that was great. Uh, and then the year after that, my my buddy Steve Dornan, who who actually was the, he had a little company doing the entertainment, said, right. you know, my mom's sick, and I'm leaving, and do you want it? You, you should probably take over. And I was yeah. like, oh, I don't want to take your gig. And he said, well, you're either going to work for yourself or you're going to work for someone else. <laughs> yeah. you know? and my wife said, you always said when you were king, things would be different. You know, So I went ahead and accepted the gig. How long ago was that? 20 years. Oh my gosh. Can you that long? Oh, I thought it was just recent. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I've been, it's been it's my been baby while. for a long time. Okay, yeah. good. And I, I will accept the credit for what I've done for that show yeah. as far as building it up, but mostly, and this is what any good producer does, I hire competent people and let them do their job. And then yeah. I take all the credit. Right. <laughs> that's, that's what Steve does. See, that's wow, how it works. That's awesome. I don't know. <laughs> but it has, truly, it, it has truly been a, a, a long and joyful trip right. for me. I That's mean, it's, great. you know, it's been wonderful. How do you raise money now for, for Well, it? the Merchants Association and the Chamber of Commerce and the Skinny Atlas Foundation all, all raise money. Okay. And then, and I, I just have a contract. Yeah. I don't have to do a lot of money raising, thank goodness. I, I just do all the stuff. Can people contribute if they wanted to? Well, or? there's not like a public, nah, it's I don't think so. But we do have a lot of sponsors and I would be remiss if I didn't say, buy your next house from Howard Hanna. Okay. <laughs> they, they are our, our, our king top Well, that's king good. Sponsor, no, you should do that. Wonderful. Yeah. So Skinny LS, Dickens, what are they going to find? What are they going to find when they come out to Skinny All LS? All I can say is you should have been here yesterday. It was so <laughs> great. But anyone who comes to the festival will enjoy myself. Our newest thing is is my good compatriot, Washington Irving, old Knickerbocker himself, is performing a show at 1230 at the gazebo uh, called A Sleepy Hollow Christmas. And it's brand new, and I think everyone will love it. I'm doing the Dickens trunk, the uh, Christmas Carol trunk show up in the library at, at three. However, all day from noon to four, there's all kinds of caroling and, and characters walking around, and, and I'll meet Mr. Scrooge. I haven't written the story yet, but I'll meet Scrooge, right. and that gives me the idea. Queen Victoria is there with us. There's horse drawn cab, uh, carrot. I almost said cabbage, right? <laughs> yeah. That's not right. That'd be fun. Yeah, <laughs> horse drawn <laughs> carriage rides. Yeah, horse drawn carriage rides. Um, all kinds of stuff. And of course, at two o'clock, we have our midday revels, which is the big Christmas caroling thing. Mm -hmm. Mostly there are a million shops, fine, excellent, small town shops. So it's every, small town, is this small every business, weekend every weekend, week? every weekend. Nope. It's Saturdays and Sundays until Christmas Eve. And we also on December 2nd is, is what we call Skinny Atlas Sings. And it's a lovely from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. The shops stay open late. And we have uh, uh, the Girl Scouts, you know, lighting right, the Christmas yeah, tree at sure. the gazebo and all that kind of stuff. Is, it's lovely. You don't have to pay for it, right? It's, People can just absolutely come and enjoy free, except, except park where you're supposed to park or it'll cost you <laughs> right. or it'll cost you a parking ticket do, do they do anything different with parking like can well you, you still can park down the by the yeah you can yeah and there's paid parking there but it gets busy you need to you need to pay attention and get there early but there's parking down uh uh, Jordan Street and, and or uh, Fennel Street, and you can take the horse-drawn carriage from the parking 
right. into into town. It's lovely. It's really a lovely old time Christmas, and it, it's right. filled. I wish you had I'm fun glad. doing it. it. Just if you yeah. only had I, fun. Uh, me too. Uh, I know. Uh, I'm looking very, for that joy. Twenty years in, I'm looking for the. That's joy. That's awesome that you do that. We really appreciate it too. Well, thank because you. That's, it that's is. Wonderful. Thank you. It, I feel like it's important for yeah, people very. to be able to make eye contact. And, do Do you say any of the lines really uh, quickly? Do, do you, Marley was dead to begin with. <laughs> This that. must be distinctly understood. And we, you know, we all say things like happy Christmas. We try yeah. to differentiate that we're from 1842. Right. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, and we have Bob Cratchit. I mean, there's, there's Jacob Marley. There's a few iconic characters that you'll that see, there. but there's okay. also the blacksmith. And the, I mean, we're in skinny Atlas. We're not, pretending to be in London. It's yeah. it's Skinny Atlas, gotcha. 1842. It's great. All right. Well, that's Jim Green right there. Thank you so much. Or Charles Dickens, producer, director of Dickens Christmas right there in Skinny Atlas. Thank you so much. And you have a great rest of Thank the day. Thank you, guys. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Can't help himself. There we go. <laughs> Kevin Frakes coming up next, director of Brady Market and Brady Faith Center right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR.